So guys, today I'm going to be mixing this up just a little bit and actually doing a bracelet tutorial because one guy asked for it and uh, I kind of want to see how these will go. If a lot of people view these, a lot of people like this, then uh, I'll keep going. But if no one likes these videos, then I'll just stop at this one. But today I want you to do more than just the absolute basic and actually show you guys how to do a pretty cool weave. And the weave we're going to be looking at today is the Dragon Claw. I can actually get it oriented properly. It's the Dragon Claw. So, without any further ado, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome content like this. And let's get into this. Before we roll down to the table and I actually show you guys how to do this, what you're going to need is around two and a half to three feet. If you have larger wrists, I generally use about two and a half feet. But if you have larger wrists than me, you'll want to have about three feet doubled over. So this is like a foot and a half on each side. And that's just one continuous strand just doubled over. And then for this, you want to have about 10 feet of main weaving. Now this only requires two strands, your core and your main weaving strand. Of course, this one I've broken into two, fused at this end. Hopefully you guys can see that. I fused it there. And so that's roughly five feet of both. Uh, and I'm using burnt orange and white for this because they look like awesome colors together. And so that is your paracord. And let's get into this. The angle a little bit. This is the basics to the diamond knot. And then basically you just want to pull it snug, kind of formulate this knot. And of course we want to kind of shift this knot, if you will, because we don't want a bracelet that's like two inches long. We actually want a bracelet that is normal sized. So you kind of want to work some of this excess of these two end strands and just kind of work it throughout this entire knot. Now at this point, it's not crucial to uh, necessarily know what size of this bracelet, especially if you're making it for yourself. Uh, basically, you just want to get the basic length of around seven to eight inches. On here, you don't actually have to measure it out because <coughs> this knot is adjustable. So you can kind of weave and adjust as you go. So there is the basic size of this uh, strand a little bit more of an advanced uh, weave but it's going to start off with a pretty easy uh, just two Solomon or Cobra stitches so if you don't already do those I would not recommend watching this video but they are pretty easy and there's one and at this point you basically want to make your loop which is going to be about the size of your thumb and the second one. So that is the basics to the start of it. Now let's actually get to the uh, dragon or ready to start this weave. And to begin to start off with it, we want to take your accent color, or this is basically the non-main weave color so if you were to continue to do a cobra this would be like your main weave color so this is your accent color you're going to want to take it and put it across and behind this uh, this main or this core strand <clears throat> then you're going to take your main strand and kind of basically set them as an x and then you're going to want to take this strand and put it through here it, but I made a slight mistake there. You're supposed to put it in front of this because if you just continue to pull, it will just undo itself. So you want to make sure that it's sitting like this and not like I just did. <laughs> okay. 
And so for this first one, of course, like with most paracord bracelets, this first knot here is kind of the start to this uh, bracelet. So it's not going to look the best. It's not going to look the most right, as you guys can see there. But you'll just want to continue to keep on doing the same weave. So once again, taking this white strand and setting it over, then under, and then taking this one and setting it if you don't drop your cord in this loop and then right and proper you're going to bring it over so that it'll look like this and then basically continuing the same pattern so once again this isn't an overly complicated pattern to do but definitely a little bit more skilled and I'd say one of the hardest things about the dragon claw is really getting it to look good. It's a very hard one to get it to look really nice. So that's where you're going to want to spend the most of your time, kind of making sure everything is very even and it all looks pretty much the same. But, of course, the best thing to do is to have just lots of practice and make a bunch of them. And that's kind of what I did. <laughs> And so about your third one, you should begin to see the real pattern setting up. And so this is basically, or the basic pattern that you should begin to see. And I'll do one more for you guys because this may be just a little bit hard to grasp. So once again, just doing it nice and slow for you guys to see. And something I prefer to do and what I'm doing right here, and this is what I did a lot when I was making bracelets to actually sell them, was sometimes the paracord, because it has a bunch of inner strands to it, sometimes kind of gets tangled. So you kind of want to work those tangles out because you don't want to see like a whole bunch of creased and messed up paracord there. And so oftentimes to make your work look cleaner, that's what you'll do to correct it. And one last time, and then I'll skip to the end. So once again, <clears throat> taking this so you guys can see there, and <clears throat> doing this. Not too hard, and there's not too many steps to it. This one does not have a whole lot of paracord involved in it, so it's reasonably easy to get an understanding of what you're trying to do. The knot in and of itself is a little bit tricky, but for the most part you can get it down. So anyways, I'm now going to weave the rest of this and see you guys at the end. So now we have this for the most part completed. Do keep in mind, uh, because of how this finishes, you don't necessarily want to do this weave right down to the very end of where you're planning to end this bracelet, because this is how it actually ends. And so the first thing you want to do, because I found that the dragon claw can actually be a little bit of a loose weave, what I actually like to do is kind of push on it, like you guys can see there, kind of push on it like this, and kind of make sure that it's nice and tight. And then what you want to do is do two cobra weaves. And so once again, assuming you already know how to do a cobra weave, you want to do two of them to end this bracelet. And it's important if you want this bracelet to look nice and pretty, you want to do these two weaves nice and hard, so that basically you have two cobra weaves here, holding nice and hard, and you have two here holding nice and hard, um, to overall hold this weave together. Because once again, if this isn't done properly, uh, your your uh, dragon claw can look a little bit wonky or kind of come apart, but still be obviously woven. So if you want it to look really nice and pretty like this, then that's what you want to do. Once again, love this coloration. I have a red and white one here. And uh, I think it looks pretty sweet too, but I wanted to try this as well and kind of do the burnt orange for fall colors. I also chose a black core because unlike on some of my other ones like this one here, uh, what I was kind of remembering was that basically when you, when you do wear a bracelet like this that has a knot and loop, generally for the most part that knot is going to sit down like this. So if you're at a table, that kind of knot picks up a lot of 
uh, just overall trash and filth. And so that's kind of why I like to go with black because in black it just looks good and it never really gets dirty. Dirty per se, it does get dirty, but it doesn't look like it gets dirty. So anyways, that's the basics to finishing it. Of course you need to have a lighter and a pair of scissors to completely finish it. Since I'm outside, I'm not really going to use the lighter. So basically you're just gonna snip and singe the rest of this and you're done hey guys so there it is finished and that's basically what it looks like all done and hopefully you guys enjoyed that nice pretty simple tutorial of how to make an awesome dragon claw paracord bracelet like i said i didn't want to just start off these paracord tutorials doing an absolute basic weave something like the cobra or solomon stitch because those are already very readily accessible and really easy to find out there in the general public so kind of wanted to keep it different and switch it up a little bit anyways guys as always that's all for now god bless and i'm out